Welcome back to the channel. So I've got a surprise for you guys today. Well, it's probably not a surprise. I guess it's kind of a surprise. We bought us something new. Now you may be selling yourself. What's he doing with a Chevrolet key? And believe me, I'm with you. I hate them. But I thought in order to do this old Cadillac justice, had to remain GM powered, you know? And uh, I was a little bit worried about being able to fit, let's say a uh, Detroit is really what I'm known for uh, under the hood. So I always swapped my wife's Suburban. And y'all have seen a little bit of that on the channel here and there, not really too much. Um, so I figured let's let's do something a little different. So I bought the cheapest school bus I could find. And these aren't really all that good for anything. That's kind of ratty, kind of ratty, but hmm, ain't no six five. I'll tell you that. So we bought this because it was cheap, and it don't got nothing for miles. Runs like a top. Look, look at that, huh? How do you argue with that? Never even took the lights off. It all still works. So this is an 07 LMM, I believe. I think. Uh, Dirty Max. Yeah, it's got the six in the VIN, so. It's LMM. Um, a D would be LBZ. And they're the same from all the research I did. They're the same between LBZ and LMM. This just has some emissions bullshit on it that we're not going to need for what we're doing. So that's the deal. Huh? Got these. You got the ambers, that shit all works, the sign works. The thing is kind of cool. Oh, uh, let me come around. Oh, we're going the other side. Huh. Cracks me up, the lights. It's a little short. Don't call him a short bus for nothing. So the guy I got this from was gonna make a camper out of it, which is craziness. It's way too small for a camper. Um, so I've seen it pop up on uh, Facebook Marketplace and uh, went and had a look at it and figured I had to have it. So. Uh, we made a deal on it, and I snatched her up. Um, dude, it's only 250 horse, but it rips, dude. Like, like it runs good for what it is. And it, like I said, it don't got no miles on it. It don't got no miles on it. So, uh, so 4L80E transmission, 4L85E is what these are technically. 
um, which I think will be perfect for that Cadillac because that Cadillac has a TH400 in it. Um, and 4L80, 4L85E are essentially a TH400 with overdrive stuffed in them. Um, so I think I think that'll make that swap as easy as possible. I was looking in, I was gonna do a comments. Y'all know I hate them, um, but they, they're they pretty good motors. I mean, as much as I gripe about them, because I always have to fix them, they are decent motors. Um, but I didn't want to hack the AC box out of the car. I didn't want to tear nothing up. This is as close to a bolt-in as you're going to find, I think. Um, you know, just guessing based on what, what what's out there, what I've looked at. I'm sure I have to do uh, quite a bit of modifications to make it work, but I knew I knew that Allison wouldn't work. Uh, Allison's like it's like uh, like twice the size of this 4L85E. I mean, uh, actually, if you watch uh, Vice Grips Garage, he has a uh, a video talking about that crew cab truck he's got, um, and he was gonna put a. 4L80 in it, I think, and then he was going to a uh, Allison or something like that. Anyway, he's got the two transmissions next to one another in the video, and you could see, you can see the difference physically is quite a bit. Uh, maybe not length so much, but big around wise, you know, diameter and, and case wise, Allison is a lot bigger transmission. Uh, so I think for what we're doing, it's a relatively lightweight vehicle that it's going in. I mean, the, the Caddy's 4850, give or take. Um, I don't know what that 429 weighs, but I'm sure it ain't light. Uh, I know the Duramax is like 850 pounds or something like that. So we're not. I don't think we're going to give up a whole lot weight-wise. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure the 85 is heavier than the 400, but I ain't really worried about that. Um, so the next. The uh, hurdle I'm thinking about now is going to be what I'm going to do with the rear end because that the Cadillac's at a one tire fire. Uh, it's a 14 bolt actually, but it's an oddball 14. It's not like the truck 14 that they have nowadays. It's some goofy, and I can't find a uh, I can't find a locker or nothing for it. it I can't find a uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like a Detroit locker. That's what I would run. You know, something that solidly locks the wheels together. Um, Can't, can't find nothing so if you know of one put it in the comments because i would rather not mess with it I don't, I don't i would rather not mess with trying to swap a rear on top of trying to swap motor and tranny um but that was why the thought too was if we look at this junk this junk has there's brakes on it so I was thinking worst case, depending on depending on the width, you know, uh, hub to hub, if it if it would go in there without too much work, then we can, you know, I'll drop that, I'll drop this rear in, and I was thinking I'll do something crazy with the hubcaps, so you won't notice the full floater sticking out, you know. Um, that was one thought I had. I don't know. I've had a lot of thoughts, but. I'm not trying to take this thing apart until winter uh, because I got too much to do around here in the summer. Uh, so it's really our first summer at this place and there's a ton of maintenance that needs to be done. So I don't want to just pull it apart in the summer and kill my whole summer because I know once I get started, I'm just going to go down the rabbit hole and uh, it's going to be snowball. And I'm, I'm terrible at that. So uh, I'll tell you what, let's... Um, jump in it and go for a quick ride there's my dog Jacob come on buddy come on let's go for a ride come on up hip hip Good boy. He's the best dog ever. Let's go. Let's go for a rip.
man, I think, oh, you know what? Some bitch in air works in this thing too. I forgot about that. Damn, I could have had this thing cooled off. here to join me? <laughs> what are you doing? for what it is. I'm not even in it, dude. Like, it runs good. And that's what some junk LMM van tune on it. Like, these things are detuned. It's only 250 horse. It's not even a big strapper yet. So we'll have to... Have to give her a little turn up. See if we can't get her to rip. I like this thing. I think, I think this motor would be perfect for what we're going to do. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it just drops right in. No stress. Easy does it. Um, having a question, I'm trying to decide if I want to intercool it or not. So maybe y'all in the comments can tell me uh, if you have a Duramax. Because I don't, I don't mess with these. Um, if you have a Duramax, if you run one without an intercool, or if it is worth my time to try to fab an intercooler into the front of that Cadillac, um, that would be helpful. Because I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm going to do yet. Um, so, yeah, I think I think we're going to intercool it, but I'll probably lose the AC and the Caddy if I do that. I don't think I have enough room front of that thing to do both so I think that that would be a good idea nice part is it does have hydro boost um, so we're gonna use that I'll fabricate that uh, bracket I've done it in the past a couple different times um, so we're gonna keep the hydro boost I'm gonna swap it into the Cadillac and use the hydro boost system up right out of this thing. Um, oh. and, uh, go that route. I'm trying to think what else. You anybody? Uh, I've seen a couple turned up vans on YouTube and stuff. So if any of you guys have one with a tune or something in it, uh, let me know if there's something I gotta do to this 4L85 to keep it together. Uh, I'm used to them with LS power, and, and I mean, realistically, all they need is a shift kit, and they're good for like, infinity. Um, hers in the Suburban's been bulletproof, and that thing's heavier, heavier than that Cadillac is. Uh, but, you know, it's like a quarter of the horsepower too, so. Uh, I don't want to get crazy with this. I'm just going to bolt it in at first. Um, you know, delete all the crap off of it. Bolt it in and run it. The seatbelt's thinking at me. Sorry about that. Um, run it the way it is. I don't want to get crazy. Just just a, like a normal truck tune. You know, if I can do that, that's deleted. That's, that's the plan for right away. Just to get it in. And get it running and driving and um, once that's done you know we can do Jesus I was vibrating like how I didn't even realize um, sorry about that once 
once that's in and done, we can uh, do crazy shit. So I got no problem blowing it up. So we can do, uh, you know, we'll do a tranny, uh, pull tranny, you know, go through the tranny. We can build it at the house if you want. Uh, I don't care. I, I yeah. If I could rebuild a dozer tranny, I could rebuild a 4L85E. I ain't scared. Uh, so we can do a tranny. We can do a uh, big turbo. We can do a set of compounds. You know dual cb3s whatever i don't care whatever we got room under the hood for we can do um and I, like i said i'm gonna drive it every day uh when it's nice of course and not in the winter because i want to own it for more than a year uh but but that's the plan i mean i i think i think it'll be a lot of fun and then you kind of see where we go from there but once it's in and running We'll try to get some miles on and get a lot of video. I'm gonna try to record all of the process, putting it in, and um, you know all the like trials and tribulations of uh, building something like that. You know, um, I think that'll be, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Man, this AC works good, dude. It's nice and cool in here. It's like 90 out right now. I'm melting to death. Jake's pumped about the AC. You like the AC, buddy? Yeah. AC, you wanna get out? Go ahead. Go on. He's the best dog ever. That's right. So that's the deal. She's a ripper. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Hopefully we can do, I always wanted to do something like Power Tour um, or like, you know, Drag Week or Rocky Mountain Race Week or something like that. Um, I've always wanted to do it for like, my whole life and uh i ain't getting no younger so i'm thinking we're gonna do it and we're gonna have some fun with it and uh hope hopefully we can we can make it to an event like that one day we get it done and and enjoy it it's i think i think life is short and we should do what we want to do while we can so that's what we're gonna do um If y'all have any tips, comments, suggestions, if I'm an idiot for buying a Duramax, uh, you should tell me. I had a couple people tell me that I should have put a 6.7 Ford in it, and um, it's not out of the question. If this Duramax snaps a crank, um, I'm not a GM fan. I don't like them. So if it pisses me off, I will put a 6.7 in it. Um, I don't care. So... But I do like the 4L85E. I think that's a great transmission. I'm, I'm a big fan of 4L80, so uh, we'll have to get an adapter to do a 6.7 maybe. Um, but so this is a look at this side of this thing. I was, she got her, we got her pulled out. You guys can find these. I mean, I, I was looking all over the place uh, for like a, a regular express van. They're hard to find um, with a Duramax actually. Uh, a lot of them are LS power and they make a great uh, swap candidate LS wise. Um, cause you could, you could get a van cheap, you know, and nobody wants them really. But in my area, uh, these are like five grand right around there. Um, and I got a killer deal on this. I got, I got a deal on this thing. I could not, not buy it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Every, everything, everything else, like I said, in my area, whether it was gas, diesel or whatever. Um, the only comparable ones I seen were six fives, which that you just, drive that right to the scrap yard where it belongs um or they were like duramaxes but they were crazy money um like i saw one it was a 08 lmm uh it was a it was a work van wasn't a bus um like what well, it, it was a dually axle with a like a bigger body on it um and they wanted like 4500 bucks for it or five grand and it had like 320,000 miles on it and had a skip to it said it needed an injector but if i had a dollar for every time somebody blew up a motor and said it needed an injector i would i would be living in a much nicer place let me tell you that um so yeah this thing was this thing was cheap man it was cheap um and i think what we'll do is when i'm done we'll catalog I'll try to keep track of everything, every every dollar that I spend on this junk, and we'll try to try to make a like a budget friendly uh, 
you know, swap recipe, I guess we'll call it. Um, the plan right now is we're going to make motor mounts here um, and all that stuff. Uh, I've done it before. It's not terrible. Um, we'll see. We'll see what 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 we get into and, and what we end up buying and what we don't end up buying, what we end up making. But I'll try to keep a running tally of uh, prices so you guys have an idea what something like this would cost you. Um, I probably paid too much for the car, but up here in New York to find something without like actual rust holes is it was worth the money to me uh to buy the car so that's why i bought the car i don't really care about that it's done um but i got a deal on this so i think i think we're gonna be money ahead when she's all said and done um i also haven't decided we may bag that cadillac um i'm not sure I, I, i'm thinking about i don't want to ruin the ride i really like the way it's like a cushy pillow going down the road um so i don't want to I don't want to do something to jeopardize that um so i don't know i, I don't i never had an air ride car everything i've ever built was hydraulic um so if, if y'all can tell me if air ride will totally kill the ride on that deal um i'm not gonna do it i'll just leave a box stock and uh it'll it'll look it will make a total sleeper out of it um also i mean maybe it won't be a sleeper maybe we'll do a hood stack maybe we'll do fender exit exhaust I don't know, there's a lot of a lot of opportunities with that car because it's not a nice car, which is why I bought it. I wanted I wanted to have something that was fun. I've I've had vehicles in the past. I mean, you see, uh, there's a couple of videos of my Viper back on 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 the if you go to my older YouTube, I think there's a burnout video on there. Maybe that was Facebook, I don't remember. But I'm tired of having stuff that's too nice to do anything with. Um So, we're going to we're going to build something that we can have some fun with and um this is the first step so thanks for joining me i know i rambled like way too long in this video i'll probably cut half of it out and it'll be like a two minute long video but anyway this is what we bought y'all come on the ride with me we're gonna put this motor and tranny into that pile down there and uh we're gonna have a lot of fun with it so uh any, like i said any suggestions comments questions you know you can email them to me old two stroker at gmail.com or uh you know, put them, put them in the doodly do down below, you know, put put them in the comments and, um, we'll get a discussion about going about how dumb I am for doing this. Uh, that's fine with me. I don't care. I've done dumb shit before. Look around. There's junk everywhere. Um, but thanks for watching, you know, subscribe. Cause there's gonna be a lot more coming on this. Uh, appreciate everybody following me so far. Uh, I think, I think, uh, I think this will be a lot of fun and hopefully we'll all learn something together. So, uh, stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Happy 4th of July, America!